All right, guys, in this video, we're going to create a stack panel in which you can drag and drop. I said drag. I was, I was like, how do I combine the words drag? I just said it funny. Anyway, you can drag and drop files into the stack panel. And then that's all we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and display the file name of the file that we just drug into the stack panel. But if you want to take it further, you can save the file. You can open it. Um, if it's an Excel file, you can you know, take some of the data that you expect to be there and manipulate it in some way or do some calculations, whatever it is you want to do. But we're just going to focus on creating a stack panel in which users can drag and drop files onto. So for example, let's go ahead and start it. You can see I have a gray stack panel here and it says drop files here. I have this test.txt file here on my desktop. So if I go ahead and drag it right into here, I have it display the name of the file that I dragged. And that's all we're going to look at today. Hopefully you guys find this interesting. And before we get started, uh, if you would, if you don't already have it already to support the channel, I have a link for Amazon Prime. I'll have it in the description, probably the first comment pinned. If you don't have Amazon Prime already, feel free to check that out. It's a free 30-day trial. You don't have to pay anything. Uh, and right now is a great time to utilize Amazon. You, you know, there's more to Prime than just delivery. And like I said, I get a bit of a commission from it, even though it is a free trial. So if you want to help out the channel, it's much appreciated. Um, yeah, let's get into creating this. All right, guys. Hope you got your coffee ready. Uh, I sure do. Today we're going to look at building the drag and drop area that I showed you at the beginning. Um, so we have all of our stuff from the last video. If you haven't seen that video, I talk about the expander. And if you're curious on what that is, feel free to check that out. But I'm going to go ahead and delete everything up into the row definition so we can kind of plan out where we're going to put our stack panel. So I want to keep this 40 pixels at the top uh, just because I think we're going to give it some space. We're going to give it some offset from the top. But, you know, I also want to give it some offset from the sides. And in that case, we can use margin, I guess. Um, I don't have to create columns just for this example. So let's go ahead and delete uh, the last two. We'll see how that looks. Actually, no, I guess I do need I need another one. So let's put another row definition of height. Um, let's do it 40 again. And then let's make this auto. So what that'll do, I must have my cap lock on. Um, so what auto will do, or you can use, come on, or not auto, I'm sorry. Auto will just uh, it'll fit the content inside of it. So what I want is the star, and then I'll just use the remaining space. So yeah, there is a difference between auto and star, and uh, hopefully that made sense how I explained it. But um, we're gonna put a stack panel here in the second row, or the first index. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and create a stack panel, and I'm not gonna put anything in the stack panel. Um, Really, the only thing I, I want to do is, whoops, is there is a, is, ah, for some reason I thought the, um, the setting or the property was, is draggable. And it's actually allow drop. So we allow drop to equal true. If you don't enter this property, whoops, my, uh, that's my one complaint about um, my add-on that I, come on, I just did it again, just out of, uh, <laughs> out of um, habit. That's my one complaint. I have this add-on that automatically formats everything when I hit save and there's nothing inside yet. It'll just create a single one instead of the tags like we're used to. Get another drink of my coffee. Okay, so as I was saying, if you don't allow drop to equal true, um, you're not going to be able to drop anything inside of inside of this this portion inside of the stack panel. So let's also make the background different colors so we can kind of tell the user, hey, this is where uh, I'm going to do gray. This is where you can drag stuff, and I wonder if there's a light gray. Light, no, unless I spelled that wrong. There we go. And let's go ahead and make its um, its grid row equal to one. 
That way it's in the middle there. And um, you know what? That's fine. That's fine that we're not going to have two tags because, like I mentioned before, we're not actually putting in. Uh, yeah, we are going to put something inside of it. I take that back. I thought of something just now that I want to put inside of it. And inside of it, I want to put a label that says like something like enter files. So let's put um, its content equal to drop files here. And you can see uh, from a few videos back, I have a property where <laughs> it automatically styles labels. I was like, what the heck is going on? Um, if you want to see that, that, that video too, feel free to go back and check that out. I was very unsure what was going on. There we go. Drop files here. And let's go ahead and make that center. So horizontal alignment. Let's make that center. And All right. So we have a little indication. Drop files here. That's fine. And we can make this bigger. And you can choose to do so if you want to make it a little more appealing. Uh, whatever you plan on doing if you're following along. But in the meantime, this is good for our purpose. And I think I mentioned I want to put some offset. Um, yeah, so what we can do, I wonder, is this going to, uh, if I can type margin. I wonder if this is going to do as we expect. It is. Okay, perfect. So the first value is left. So let's go ahead. We did 40. So let's do 40. Uh, comma, and then top, which is 0, and then right, which is 40, and then bottom, which is 0, because we already have the 40, and we already have the 40 uh, with our row definition, so we don't have to worry about that. So now we have a nice little square. Okay. Cool. Now we just have to make an event. So every time someone drops a file into here, we can call an event that says, hey, um, let's go ahead and read this file, or get the name of it or whatever have you, whatever we want to do. And for this example, actually, let's go ahead and put a, a label in the first row. Okay, and its content is just going to be nothing right now. And grid.row is going to be equal to 1, or no, 0, I'm sorry. And its horizontal alignment is also going to be center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow someone to drop in a file into this. And then we're going to spit out the file name and put it right here in this label once it's created. Let's go ahead and make the font size like uh, 16 or something. Not sure how that's going to look. If we want to test it, we can just type something in content here. And we get a good visualization of how that's going to look. Looks good. And then we can go ahead and give this a name. And I also have to give the stack panel a name. So let's put um, file name uh, label. And then here we can do name is equal to file drop uh, stack panel. OK, so we gave it a name. Let me get another drink here. This gives you good times to uh, catch up, I guess. If you are following along. So I gave it a name. Let's go ahead and give it some kind of event. So the event is called drop. So um, drop, and then we can create a an event handler. So if we double click this, it'll just use the name that we gave it and then underscore uh, drop. Perfect. Save that. We're all good to go here as far as I know. In the, uh, in the XAML. So now if we look at the C-sharp, we should go ahead and have, let's delete this crap. And let's delete some of this other stuff I had. Okay. So now we have our event, and it's called file drop stack panel underscore drop. Now beside me, I have stack overflow because I forgot how this, um, how this portrait. I'll link this below if you want to check it out, but if you're watching this video, uh, it's not really necessary because you can just follow along with me. Um, but if we do e data, see, I would never remember this. And it's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, all programmers go to, <laughs> go to Stack Overflow. So for me to pretend like I don't use it is just absurd. 
Okay, so e.data.getData present. Um, it looks like I need to bring in maybe something. Maybe no. Maybe it's just mad about uh, me not having anything in this. So let's go ahead and insert something. It's called data formats formats dot file drop. So what it's saying is is I believe what it's saying is if what's being dropped is a file, if it's a file drop, and then proceed, do this. So in the example they have here on Stack Overflow, they have an array of string um, named files, whoops, I need to give it a name, files, which is going to equal, okay, and we're going to cast a an array of string, and then e.data.getData and then data formats dot file drop. Come on. Dot file drop. There we go. So it's going to put all these files that we do drop, which I'm only planning on dropping one, into this array here. Um, I guess if you had multiple files selected and you pulled them on in, uh, this would take care of all of them, put them all in an array. Um, but in my case, I'm not going to worry about that. So uh, let's go ahead and get the file name. So I think it's called file with a capital F, file dot uh, get, let me try to find it here, file dot not name. It's another Stack Overflow question, it looks like. Ah, I was so close. It's not file. It's path dot get file name. And then inside of it, we, we get some kind of path we pass into it, which is going to be uh, the file that they drop in, believe it or not. So what we can do is we can just take the first item of the array. So, whoops, I'm not typing anything. So files zero. And then it'll uh, get the file name. Let's go ahead and set uh, something equal to that. So string file name is going to be equal to that. Okay. And then now all we can really uh, do is just set this file name label as content equal to that. So if we do file name label dot content equal to file name. This should theoretically work as we planned. So let me go ahead and create a little text file. I'll save it on my desktop and then we'll go ahead and drag and drop and um, see what happens with that. Okay, so I created this little text document um, right here on my desktop. I have it shown because I, I moved this over some. So let's go ahead and run it and see if it even works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a breakpoint right around here. Actually, I'm going to place two breakpoints. Let's see if uh, this is even called this um, event. And then let's see if it actually gets the name of the file that we expect. So I'll go ahead and start this, make sure it builds. I guess that's another important step. And then we can try dragging this text dot, or test.txt into that uh, drop file. Okay, so the event looks like it, it took off because we're sitting right here, which is great. Yeah, that's whatever. If we hit, come on, dude. Edits were made. What are you talking about? All right, let's stop this and start it again. Okay, I don't know what the hell that was, so. Just ignore that. So let's go ahead and look at the files array. We can see that it has one string inside of it, and it's C users brand and does dot test dot txt, which looks right. That's the file path to this particular file. But if you remember, you know that kind of looks ugly. And most users, if they are doing something like this and they they want to see the file that they dropped, the name of it, just to verify, they don't want the whole path of it, right? They just want the name of the file. So that's why we do this path dot get file name, and we pass in that. Uh, file path that we got. So here if we just hit F11 we'll go down a line and we'll see 
test.txt is the file name and now hopefully we set the content equal to this. We'll hit continue and then right here we have test.txt. It's awesome. So good job guys. Congratulations. Thanks if you followed along and uh, thank you for watching and hopefully you learned something pretty neat. This is a very useful um, you know, piece of code to keep in your pocket. A lot of people like the drag and drop when it comes to files. They don't, browsing is just boring, right? We don't like to browse. We like to just drag it on in if possible. So yeah, that's what's going on. Um, that's all we got for this video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.